I'm Steve for This Week With Cars, and last weekend I took my Land Rover to a local Jeep off-road event, and it got very muddy. So today I thought I would try out an electric power washer. I've never had one of these. I've never used one of these. Uh, if you've watched my other videos where I'm washing cars off, I'm always using my very large Hatsi unit. This is an electric Chinese power washer. It's about 1200 PSI and I think 1.5 gallons per minute. Let's turn it on and try it out. I don't have the water turned on, but let's make sure it's got power. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. We have the on and off switch on the main unit. Then we have a trigger here that we pull. It also did come with a little reservoir so that we can use soap, but with this amount of mud, we just need to get the mud off the truck right now. It came with four different nozzles and the water connects down there. I'll turn the water on and we are ready to wash.
So at the beginning, I was having some trouble with it. It uh, must have been some air in the hose. It wasn't able to cope real well until all the air had gotten out of the system. Then it seemed to work consistently after that. Obviously, it got a lot of the mud off. It isn't able to get the really stuck mud off the tires. And I really, really tried, but I couldn't get it to break up the really hard packed mud that got in through the fair lead into the winch area here. One of the really nice things is I didn't have to worry about the paint. It's not powerful enough to hurt the paint. In fact, it's not even powerful enough to blow the duct tape off of the car. We look around, it did generally a pretty good job. It really struggles with the mud and the clay. But when I got real close, it was able to blast all of the mud off of the paint. I do wish that the hose was a little longer. I can travel all around the vehicle with the hose on my other power washer. This one, I had to move the unit around, didn't, uh, it probably would be nice if it was 50% to two times longer of a hose so I could get to this side and wash it real well. I mean, we have to give it credit, it did knock a lot of dirt and mud off. It's just not the most powerful thing for doing wheels, it would probably struggle with brake dust. But if you're doing a general washing of a car, this might be a great unit. I did really like how quiet it was. I like that you're probably not going to damage your car. You're not going to blow emblems off, blow trim off, damage the paint, things like that. And this thing is really light. You can pick it up with one arm. The wand is much, much lighter than the one I am typically using. Although my hand did fatigue holding it. Um, it's a little bit different. It doesn't have the pressure that blows back on your hand. So the weight of the wand actually seems to affect your hand a little bit more than more powerful units. But overall, this is a useful tool for me to have in my garage. I will have a link to where you can buy this in the description below. And maybe a small cheap unit like this makes sense for you too. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.